What's going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today I'm gonna to teach you something new. We're gonna learn some new editing tricks to speed up your work. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere and get started on these editing tips. So I went ahead and opened one of my most recent projects for Gear Focus up in Premiere, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is your keyboard shortcuts. Now these are things that you're gonna to have to learn pretty quickly and they will help you with your workflow drastically. So the standard ones that I use are the V, which is the select tool, C, which is your cut tool, which will bring this up and then you can cut your sequence. Next up is the ripple edit tool, which is the B shortcut on the keyboard. So say I come in here on this and I wanna edit out this first part. If I hit B on my keyboard, B as in Bravo on my keyboard, I can go ahead and just pull this over to where I want it to start and then Premiere drags everything over. It's a really cool, quick technique to get things moving along. Another big one that I use a lot is P, which is your point tool. So if I wanted to add my own little fade out of the audio, I can do that just by hitting the P key on my keyboard and then clicking for two different points and dragging those wherever I want to. Another big one I use is the select all tool, which is the key A on your keyboard. And what this will do is you'll see that there are two little arrows that pop up on my screen. So when I click this, it'll hit everything that is right of the arrow. So it'll highlight all the stuff that's to the right. Now say I wanted to do everything that's to the left. Well, I would hit shift A and that would do everything to the left. Now, another one that's really useful is the plus and the minus key on your keyboard, which will zoom either out or in on your timeline. And the last thing I wanna talk about is your clip duplication. This is super, super quick if you're doing a lot of effects and things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit Alt on our keyboard and then we're gonna click and drag a clip. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna duplicate the clip directly above it. So tip number two, I actually just recently learned and it has saved me a ton of time. Usually I'll use this when I am editing a big long clip where I'm cutting different parts out. And what happens is when you cut parts out, you end up with a blank space in between your clips. All you need to do is click on that blank space in between and it'll highlight it. And then you hit the backspace button on your keyboard and it'll pull everything in and delete that space. This has saved me a ton of time because what that means is I don't have to click, highlight everything to the right of that blank space and then drag it over and then sometimes slip past and sometimes not be far enough. It's really super obnoxious and this just brings everything together nice and easily. So tip number three, moving your clip up and down on the timeline. So say in my edit, I wanna add something in between these two video tracks. All I need to do is I need to highlight the clips that I wanna move, hold down Alt on my keyboard and press the up or the down arrow and that'll move the clip exactly where it is in time, just up a track or down a track. But something to keep in mind when you're doing this is if you go over top of another clip, just like you see here, it will delete that clip. So you gotta be very careful when you're doing this. So this next tip I actually got from my good friend, Bo Condon, whose video you can watch right here, but this is exporting with media encoder. So in Premiere with my in and my out point set, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the control M on my keyboard and that'll bring up my export settings. So typically at the bottom, what you'll see is the Q and the export and most people click export, which brings up this dialog, but then you can't really do anything in Premiere. So if we cancel that and instead of hitting export, we hit Q, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up media encoder. So then in Media Encoder, I can go ahead and just hit the play button at the top and it'll start rendering right here. Now here's the cool thing is now I can go back into Premiere and continue editing. I can still continue to do what I need to do while my video exports in the background. Now another thing we can do in Premiere is make sure everything is set up properly. So we can go ahead and go over into our settings and our preferences. So we're gonna go ahead and hit preferences and then go to general. So once we have our preferences open, we're gonna go down to the media tab and this growing file section, the automatically refresh growing files, turn that off. This horribly slows down Premiere. I don't even know why it's in there. This is just an awful setting and a huge shout out to Ian Sands or not Ian Sands from Learn How to Edit Stuff. He was how I learned this and it has saved me a ton of time and Premiere runs so much better now without that setting on. So recently Premiere added an audio sync tool. So all we need to do is once we have all of our clips and our audio on the timeline, we're gonna go ahead and highlight everything 
and then we're gonna right click and go up to synchronize. From here, we wanna select audio and then we wanna synchronize it to our track. So for me, that's gonna be track one and we hit okay. Then it's gonna do its thing. So once that's done, you'll see that it lined all of my audio up and now I'm ready to go. And that was super simple and all I needed to do was highlight and right click. So another big thing that's gonna help you is file organization. For me, every single one of my projects on my hard drives is set up in the exact same way. What I like to do is I like to set up my folders in this structure. So all of my video files go under my video folder. I save all of my project and my autosave projects here under the projects folder. All of my outputs go in the output folder. I have both a drafts and a masters folder underneath of that. Knowing where things are is just going to speed things up in the long run. So under my effects panel, I have a favorites folder that I created by right clicking and hitting new custom bin. And then I named that favorites. So I'll just, for the sake of this, do favorites two. Okay, so now every time I pull up that effects window, that favorites folder is going to be there. And what I like to do is when I find myself using a certain plugin or a certain effect consistently, I'll just drop it in this favorites folder. These are all things that wind up in pretty much all of my edits. So having them all in one spot and not having to search for them every time saves a bunch of time. So let's say I have a sequence that I've been editing and I wanna add a clip in between two shots. So with my clip set to the in and the out points that I want, instead of dragging the file down here onto the timeline where it's gonna cover up everything, I'm actually gonna take it and I'm gonna drag it over to the program monitor. You'll see this overlay will pop up and you can either insert it before, after, on top of this clip, you can overlay it or you can replace or overwrite it. This is something I didn't even know existed until about a couple weeks ago, and this has massively cut down on the amount of time it takes me to edit. These last two tips that I'm about to give you were things that were absolutely huge for my editing workflow. You know how when you're editing audio and you're trying to bring the audio meter up and down and you can never quite get it right and the track's not big enough and you're moving it too much and there's all kinds of stuff going on? Well, this is the solution to that. So with your track selected, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit your brackets on your keyboard. And this is gonna raise or lower your audio by one decibel. So this allows you to fine tune things and actually makes it much, much quicker because you're not dragging a little line up and down and then having to expand your audio track and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So the last tip that I have for you today is master clip editing. This works really, really well when you're trying to color grade a bunch of clips from the same master file. So like if you had a really long interview and you knew you were gonna be chopping that up a bunch, instead of going through and doing a color grade on one clip and then highlighting all and doing all that stuff, what you can do is you can actually edit the master clip. So in Premiere, if I wanted to edit the color specifically on this master clip, you can see that the names of the clips here are both the same. So what I'm gonna do with the clip highlighted over in the Lumetri panel is you see this little master up here at the top? I'm gonna to go ahead and click on that. And what this is gonna do is this is actually gonna adjust the color grade on both of these clips and actually all three of these clips since they are all part of the same original clip. If I push the orange up real high on this one, it's gonna do the same thing here and do the same thing here. And the way that we know that a master clip has been edited is right underneath of this little effects thing here at the top. I'll zoom in even more so you can see it. There's a little red line and that way we know that our master clip has been edited. All right guys, so there you have it. Those are my 11. I was actually only supposed to give you 10, but I gave you an extra one, so you're welcome. If you have any other tutorials you would like to see for filmmaking, for cameras, for anything, leave them down in the comments down below and we'll make sure that we get those out for you while we're all stuck at home practicing our social distancing and self-isolation. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as we're gonna be pushing out a ton of new content for you here in the coming weeks. Stay safe out there, stay creative, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.